On today's special of Artists of the Renaissance, we journey back to old Italia to revisit Titian, originally born in Tizana, Valicia. Let's go inside. Oh, my interview. She's here. She's here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come, come sit. Thank you for allowing us to interview you. You yes. are such an inspirational artist. Let's talk about my life and my art. So, tell us about your youth and family. Well, I was originally born to Yosano Vallecchio in the late 1400s in a small village near the Austrian border. My brother Francesco and I, we were sent to Venice to start training as painters under Sebastiano Zucato. With Signor Zucato, Francesco and I studied the art of the mosaico. Did you become Zucato's apprentice? No, 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 no. I left and went to be an apprentice with the Bellini brothers, to Thiel and Giovanni. After I left the Bellinis, I went to study under Giorgione. Oh, wow. He is really famous. You must have learned so much from him. Oh, I did. And I learned so much. I was his assistant for very many years. After he died, I left and I began a painting on my own. So, you told us about your family growing up, but did you ever get married and have children of your own? Why, yes, I did. In 1525, I married a lovely woman named Cecilia, and we had three children, Pompino, Orazio, and Lavina. Tragically, though, my wife died giving birth to our daughter. I was very happy about it. In order to keep the family together, my wife's sister, Orsa, <laughs> came to live with us and take care of the children so that I could continue to work. Is it true that you've painted in many public places in Italy? I have indeed. I was paid to paint the high altar in the church of Varina in Venice, which made me the most celebrated artist in Venice at the time. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy painting schedule to sit down with us. You have educated us all. Can we see your museum? Of course, of course. Let us go right now. Grazie. Right of this away. The soldiers in the painting are in Spanish armor. It 
contrast to most other paintings of the martyrdom of St. Lawrence, it is a very dark painting, but it still incorporates the red used in almost all of my paintings. St. Lawrence is in the middle, raising his hand as if to cry for help. He is laying on a bench, which is a fire lit underneath them. A man is jabbing him with a long spear into my chest. To the left of St. Lawrence, three other men that seem to already be killed. The whole painting is a very dark and gloomy. At the very top of the painting, there is a bright light signifying heaven. As you can tell, this is not the traditional scene in which we are filming in modern day Florence. This is actually a freezer. There is no air conditioning in here, so we film in here. It is very hot. Right. resembling this painting. The maid rummaging through the drawers is also a common symbol of motherhood. In this painting, Venus is not only the goddess of love, but also the perfect the housewife. When Titian was around 80 years old, he died on August 27, 1576, because of the plague. He is buried at the Church of Maria. This was the artist of the Renaissance. Good night. 